Hey there, John Morris here, and in this video, we're going to talk about arrays. So we mentioned a little bit earlier uh, what arrays are and a little bit about what you can do with them. Now we're going to talk about um, actually using uh, data in an array. And this is going to be one of the things that you're going to do uh, most often when it comes with PHP. Also, a little bit later on in the course in the advanced module, we're going to talk about working with multi-dimensional arrays. So we're not going to cover that here, but this will give you a good primer, a good understanding of arrays and how they work and kind of set you up for uh, some of that, uh, what we're going to talk about later. So <clears throat> but with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is just create a simple array that we can work with. So we'll go ahead and come in here and we will create an array and we'll give give it some data. So if you remember, the arrays are key value pairs. So let's just go with a little data, what you might see in like a social network or something like that. Okay, let's go with something like that. So we just have a little bit of information um, that's going to be stored. Now, this is our array. So there's a number of different ways that we can work with with arrays. So one of the first things that uh, you're going to want to learn are two different ways of finding out what's in an array. Because a lot of times, especially when you work with MySQL, you may not know what data is actually in a database or how that uh, particular array is structured. And so you want to find out how it's structured so you can see what it is that you're working with and then you can start to actually work with uh, the data. So one of the ways that you can do that is a function called printr. And you just write printr and you put the name of the array in it just like that. And if we come over to our site, and as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of this just so we can see this a little bit better and we're not going to really be working with it anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and go with this. All right, so this is what you're going to get. And so as you can see, you have, it'll tell you one, it's an array and then it'll start to tell you the different uh, values that are or the it'll show you the key value pairs in there so you're gonna get uh, name and you're gonna get John Morris you're gonna get age 29 state Texas website etc etc so this is a really good way to see what data is actually stored in a particular array and how it's structured now you know all of the keys uh, that are in this array. you know that the keys are name age state and website which you may not have known before obviously we knew that in this case because we created it but again a lot of the times you're not going to know what data is actually stored in an array so this is a good way uh, to, to take a look at that now there is another way that you can do that as well and that's with a uh, function called variable dump and so we'll change this like this and we'll save and we'll head over here to the site and you'll notice that we get something a little it's similar, but it's a little bit different. And so what we end up with is we end up with an, a, a, little, uh, a little bit more information about this particular array. So we're going to get the array and we're going to get how many actual items are in that array. So we have, uh, if we go back, we have four different items or four different key value pairs. And so it's going to tell us that at the beginning here. And that's going to give us the key 
and then it's going to give us the value, but it's also going to give us uh, a little bit more information. It's going to tell you that this value is stored as a string and that it contains 11 characters. Okay, and so if you were to count these characters, you would see that there's 11 there. And then the next one we're going to come to, um, it'll give us the age. Again, it's a string, two characters, state string, etc. On down, on down the line. And so it gives you a little bit more information um, about that particular array uh, and allows you to see just a little bit how it's structured, um, whether it's in a database or it's an array that's created like we just did. So um, that is uh, another way that you can see what, what information is in an array. And when I'm writing code and working with arrays, the first thing I like to do is actually uh, do, I use print R just because it's, a little cleaner uh, allows me to see things a little bit easier and I like to actually have this printed out at the top of whatever array I'm working with and then as I write my code to kind of parse out that array then I'll have this available at the top and then once I'm done I just delete this at the top that way I always have the information about that array uh, right there available so I can see it all right so now we've talked about print R and we've talked about um, variable dump. So next what we want to talk a little bit about is how you're actually going to use the data in that in a particular array. Alright so I'm gonna jump in here a little bit and interject. Um, after having gone back and watched this video I noticed that I didn't cover one of um, probably the simplest and most commonly used ways that you're actually gonna access array data. Um, so I wanted to jump in and do that here real quick before we continue with the rest of the video. I'll make sure I got that in here for you. So we just got done talking about variable dump and uh, print R and how you can use it to view data in an array. Now, when you're dealing with a um, single dimension array, which is what this is, um, one of the easiest ways that you're going to actually deal with um, array data is to use the form like this. And this will allow you to actually um, echo out a particular uh, key value pair and actually the value of a, of a particular key value pair. Okay, so if we come over here to our site now and we refresh this, you'll notice that it echoes out John Morris, which is the key that we asked it to. And of course we can come in here and we can change this to age and it's going to uh, echo out the age, okay? So that's actually really the simplest way to access array data. And it works really well when you're working with a uh, single dimension array. Now, you might be wondering why I missed this when I first did this video. And the reason is, is because I hardly ever work with a single dimension array. Most of what I do is in WordPress and pretty much, or with MySQL in general. And Pretty much everything that comes out of MySQL is going to be in a multi-dimension array. And when you work with a multi-dimension array, it's a little bit different. Um, you can still do this, uh, but um, it's not quite as effective. It's not quite as easy. And when we get to the multi-dimensional array video, we'll talk about that. But um, I hardly ever actually use this just because I'm always working with multi-dimensional arrays. But if you're working with a single dimension array like this, um, it, this is one of the most effective ways to for you to actually echo out uh, the data. You can just access it directly. And of course, it's having the variable dump and the print are there. So you can see what data and what keys are available really helps that out. So um, now throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some more ways that you can access this data. Uh, and use it on your website. So, but I did want to throw this in there. I noticed I hadn't done that when I first recorded the video. So, um, let's get to the rest of the video. So, one of the main ways that you're going to do that is by using what's called a for each loop. And so, what we would do is we would um, just go ahead and write this function. It's going to be for each. And we're going to take the name uh, array, the name of the array, and we're going to do array as, and there's a couple of things you can do. Let's start with key value. Okay, so array as a key value. So we're going to do it as a key value pair. 
And there's a reason why we're going to do this, and I'll show you. All right, so then we can do echo, and we can do uh, paragraph tag. Um, we can do um, the name of the key. We're going to concentrate this, and we're going to do key dot, and then we're going to come jump back in, and we're going to do uh, we're going to do a semicolon and a space, or a colon and a space. And then we're going to jump back out and we're going to do a value. All right, I think that's uh, what we're looking for there. So we'll save that. And then we'll jump back over here to our page and we'll refresh. And now you can see we have an actual list with this information uh, in it. And so to explain that code just a little bit, we save the array and we put it into... The, all the keys into a variable called key and all the values to a variable called value. So for each list item, it's going to save the key as the variable key and the value as the variable value. So then we just came down here, we created a simple echo statement to, uh, to, to echo those out and we echo out the key name and, or the key and then the value. And if we come back over, you can see that we have our key and then we have our value key value key value just like we wanted so that's that's kind of the basics of how you're going to uh, work with arrays now there's a number of, of different things that you can do when it comes to arrays there's a number of different functions um, that you can you use based off of um, what it is that you want to accomplish with with your particular array that you're working with and if we come over here and we just go to Google and we type PHP arrays and we can go to array functions and you can see a list of all of the different functions that you can use with arrays and then you can look at the descriptions and you can see what it is that they do for example this array flip um, it exchanges all the keys with their associated values in an array. So basically flips um, flips the keys and the values. So for example, if we were to come here and we were to do array equals array oops, array flip and our array and then we come back over to our site. You would see now that it's just flipped everything in here. Okay, so that's one of the example, and you, you can just come in here and you can see exactly what each one, uh, each particular one does, and it really is dependent on what it is that you want to do um, with your particular array. But that's how simple it is to work with arrays and. Arrays that you get from a MySQL database aren't going to be really any different. The only difference that you might see is that, or that you'll probably see, is that it's going to be in a multi-dimensional array. And again, like I said, we'll talk about those as we get uh, a little bit more into the advanced section, um, get a little bit further down the line working with the multi-dimensional arrays, because they can be a little bit uh, tricky to get your head around. So that's how to work with arrays. Most of the time you're going to use a for each loop. Now... One other thing that I want to cover because it's something that I found really useful is that a lot of times when you're working with uh, a function, you may need to um, echo out, you, you may need to store all of the array data as a result so that you can return it. So you may not be able to echo it out because it's inside of a function. Okay. So one thing you can do is you can actually do uh, results equal and if we do it like for example like this right and we come back over to our site well actually that's not gonna work we need to first come down here and we're gonna do echo results okay we save that and we come back over to our site and we refresh you notice that what it does is it prints one uh, result here. And what is that result? Well, it's the last one. Because the way this results works, um, 
it's going to it's going to loop through all of these different ones but results can only save one uh, one of those when it's set up the way we have it so uh, it's only going to save the last one so one thing that you can do is you can contentate um, your assignment so we can add a dot to the front of this okay and we save that and we come back to our site and you'll now see that now it's got all of those in there and so what this allows you to do is when you're inside a function and we're going to talk about this a little bit later on and, and how to create your own function but when you're inside of a function you need to return results um, you could save all the results of this for each loop of this entire loop formatted how you want as one variable and you can return that variable and that one variable will be everything that you need um, out of your function. So that's something that as you go forward you're going to see becomes really, really handy. That was something that when I first started really irritated me and I really struggled with when I found that out. Um, really made a huge difference with, difference with the scripts that I was writing because it um, made it a lot easier uh, for me to write some of, the, some of the things that I was working with. So anyway, um, so that's a little bit of a primer on arrays. Um, get you get you going, get your head head around arrays and how they work. Again, later on we're going to get into multi-dimensional arrays, and of course when we get to the examples, you're going to see us using arrays quite a bit um, and get very very comfortable and familiar with those. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you again soon.